Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got here the 4 to 16 and a half inch tire changer uh, from Princess Auto. This is their Power Fist brand. Uh, anything that has Power Fist on it typically comes from China. So we're going to get this out of the box and set up and do a review on it. All right. There it is, all assembled, really, really straightforward. It is literally um, like four or five pieces. You have uh, a main piece, two side pieces, and this upper piece. You just bolt together, very, very straightforward. Now, when, right away, I notice uh, poor workmanship that this is welded on to the post on an angle compared to this being a 90 so this is over here instead of you know over here uh get busy and anchor it to the floor with those four anchor bolts now i've got the uh, unit firmly anchored to the floor uh with some anchor bolts i think if if this is successful guys what i'm gonna do is uh, bear this up right here on each of the corner joints and, and throw a bead of uh, stick weld on there. Remove the, this is in the future, okay? If this is successful, uh, remove it from the floor. And so it will be all, now these pieces will be all one. And then uh, weld the nut, which is on the back of here, to the underside uh, of each of these. And then mount it back to the floor. That way, um, the base portion can stay fixed to the floor. It's kind of in the middle of the floor. You know, it's it might be a trip hazard, but uh, it won't be a space hazard. And then I can just take, uh, you know, take the impact and, you know, zip these four bolts out, zip them back in, and then this piece can be... You know, this piece here, the unit can be put into storage, you know, when it's not needed. All right, so gone ahead. I pulled the, uh, I pulled the core out of the valve stem, let all the air out. You can see, pretty, uh, pretty pliable. Uh, I'm going to set this up. You got to remember this wasn't welded on correctly. So I'm kind of hoping, uh, even so that... You know that'll work down and uh, and break the uh, break the bead free. Oh, almost, almost might have to. Uh... Oh, there it goes. I think. Yeah, yeah, there it goes. Look at see, freeing up all the way around. Beautiful. I'll flip it over and do the other side. Now, with the uh, the beads broken on each side, and I did have to adjust to the center hole. Um, not a big deal. Time to mount it onto the uh, the machine. You take those pieces off. And then the assembly, tire assembly down over the top. There's a little index finger here. A lot of people, I've seen some videos where people want to take those out and um, drill bolts through or drill holes through for various sized uh, bolt patterns in order to make sure it's, you know, good and centered and anchored. Uh, anchored to the machine now basically that's supposed to go like that That goes over the top to the rim um, Not real keen on that It's got these these sharp bits here uh, It's gonna wreck the paint on this rim, but I'm gonna paint these rims uh, after I get the new tires uh, Installed so that goes on and we're gonna Hand screw this down so it uh, bottoms out, and it should be reasonably, reasonably centered. 
and you use the the tongue to uh, snug that up like that to hold the the rim in place. Now we're ready to uh, try to remove this tire from the rim. Uh, I've mixed up a soap and water solution and put it in this uh, spray bottle. And spray it on here like so, and that should help to lubricate the uh, the rim. Now I'm going to try to do this holding camera with one hand and the tool with the other. You can see it's kind of a notched finger. Okay. That's going to go down in here. Catch the tire. Okay. Catch the tire there. Then come up and over. And there you are. Just like that. Now, theoretically, um, I'm supposed to just push on the bar follow it around and the tire you know just comes off the rim that was slick that was easy like so you get the same thing hooked underneath of there just like that and around we go around we go Oop. It didn't follow through. Let me try again. Okay, so I'm hooked in again. I think it just needs a little help. There we go. That was pretty slick, pretty easy. Tire off the rim. Now, some of you might be questioning why I'm changing these tires because they look like they're in pretty good condition. Uh, these tires are almost 10 years old. Um, we haven't owned the camper uh, that long, just a few a few years now. Uh, but it, uh, when it was from new, it sat in a campground. And so if you roll over to here, you can see that the uh, I mean, down in here, the tread cap is really cracked badly in this small one foot section where it sat for many many years in a campground on the dirt so these tires are like i say around 10 years old regardless of how great they look they need replaced now i went ahead without you to change the valve stem that's pretty simple i bought a kit let me show you here. This kit, it's got stems, caps, cores, dies for fixing threads and whatnot. But it came with this tool, which is the installer tool. And it also helps for the removal. So just screw that on and it ends up like that. Then you pry against the rim and extend this up. Then you just cut it off with some side cutters or a knife or whatever you have. And then... It just pokes in through the bottom. Same thing. Screw that on there, and then it's just a you know lever, lever action going on, and it pops up through the hole in the rim. So that's all good. Now here's here's my tires. One of my tires. They're they're trailer tires. They're for the camper. Um, there appears to be no indication of an inside and outside, probably because you know exactly that they are a trailer tire. So I'm going to get the, some soap on here, get it up there, get it lubed up. We'll see about putting it on. All right. Now, so apparently this part here is supposed to hook over the rim like that. And the edge of the tire bead here is supposed to run here. So we'll see how that works. You get some more lube on this tire. Okay, so basically just wrestled the tire to the point where it's like pretty much halfway on. 
get this down in there, locked in. Just like I said, it really takes a bit of effort. Hold it in there and get it started and just keep working it around. And the tire went on. Applied a little more lubricant to the bead. Same thing. I got the tire kind of cocked down like that. Get her in there under the rim. Start working her way around. And hopefully your tire will find its way on there. I may have to take the same approach as I did before. Try to get it mostly started and finish it with the bar. Now, unfortunately, you guys didn't get to see the final uh, the final mounting of this side of the tire here. Try as I might, I could not get this tool to get me that that last third of the way uh, around. I could get like two thirds and that was it. I couldn't get it to stretch anymore uh, with this tool. And what I ended up doing, ended up doing, let me get this out of the way. What I ended up doing is get an old fashioned way of putting tires on and off, uh, you know, when you're stuck in a situation, was a couple flat screwdrivers, get in under the tire and pry it up and, you know, the, the tire will drop down. You hold that screwdriver, right? And then you take, you know, you take a second one, put it in beside it, and then you do the same thing. Pull that one out, move it over, do it again. I only had to do that, like, move the screwdrivers, like, four times, and the, and the tire slipped right on. Now, like I say, I think the situation, though, too, is these are trailer tires. They're six-ply. The sidewalls are, are much heavier than, than car tires. So it's really hard to say that, hey, um... The tire, car tire may have may have been no issue whatsoever, uh, but I did watch uh, a couple of other videos that people had produced, and it appeared the end of this tool here was a little bit different shaped um, than the one that I have. Uh, it seemed to be a little thinner through this area here, and you know this 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 little turn bit here was a little bit a bit sharper, more of a pocket. Maybe that has a little bit to do with it. But overall, overall, I did get the tire on. So let's sum this up real quick. Okay, guys. So I believe the machine is definitely worth the money. Um, I do think it probably would be best to use it on car tires as opposed to trailer tires. And uh, yeah, it, it was worthwhile buy. So if you're going to purchase one, um, I don't see any reason uh, reason not to. Okay, so it's 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 worth the money, especially if you get a get a sale sale price on it. So Princess Auto Power Fist Tire Change Machine worked for me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. To the next one, as always, peace.